Good morning. It is a regular Tuesday morning here in Cornwall. My name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns. I teach workshops online and in person and I sell yarn through my website yarnaddict.co.uk and you can see some of the yarn I sell behind me there. A lot more is hidden away at the other end of the room. It's Tuesday and it is 10 to 9 in the morning. Uh, I'm not usually in my office till 9 o'clock so I'm a little bit early this morning which is great. Got up slightly early this morning because my husband was going into work this morning, which is very unusual because he's been working from home since the pandemic started. And I've kind of gotten used to, so before the pandemic, I was on my own at home five days a week. Girls, my daughters, one was at uni, one was at, one was working and they'd live elsewhere. Um, so I was used to just being me all week Monday to Friday and then suddenly at the start of the pandemic they all came home and they were all working from home from here uh, well the the student she was finishing her degree online and then my husband's been working from home ever since really so um, I've kind of gotten used to having somebody else around all the time and we work in separate rooms upstairs and we tend to take our breaks and lunch and things at separate times so we don't actually see each other a ton during the day um, but I've kind of gotten used to having somebody else around. And today I don't, which is feels very strange to have the house to myself. Um, so I thought I would film a little daily vlog. Um, I did one a couple of months ago, I think. But um, yeah, I thought I'd film another daily vlog. Weather is beautiful. It's quite windy. According to weather forecast, is supposed to be about 20 degrees. Um, it is very windy today. I think when the sun warms up a bit, it might feel warm than that. It certainly has done over the weekend. It felt really lovely and warm. So I thought I would film a bit of a daily vlog. Um, so what have I got planned today? So we've just finished a long weekend. Um, I may be filming this actually like nearly two weeks before I'll publish it. But that's because I've got other videos I need to go out first. Um, it just worked out today because I'm on my own. It's easier to film when I'm on my own. I need to, I also came back from holiday last week. And I, this is only my second full day of work since I came back from holiday. I had Thursday where I kind of worked half a day and then Friday I was teaching all day. And then I did a little bit of work over the weekend, but it was like video editing. And I filmed a vlog over the weekend about how I knitted the petite knit clutch. Um, I will link that video below because I will go out before this one. And then, so today's like the first full day. I know I've got some emails I need to deal with first thing because um, there are about some workshops I'm teaching in Liscard where I live in the autumn. And they need photos and things. So I need to sort that out first thing. I also need to make kind of like a to-do list for the week um, because it's, I've only got four days this week. And tomorrow I'm actually out for at least half the morning because... I have to return our loan car to the garage and pick up our car. And it's been in the garage now, I think for like five weeks. Um, so tomorrow i got to get up early and leave and then I'll be back kind of mid-morning, I guess. So tomorrow the morning will be more or less gone. And morning is like my most productive time. I do have a fairly set routine every day. I do kind of more or less the same thing every day. But the first thing I'm going to do is do my to-do list for the week um deal with some emails i've got to do some um i want to plan a new project for workshops um i've got a few ideas for different things i need to decide what i'm going to do, work on first i'm also teaching a beaded lace knitting workshop over two days in july and i'm thinking about middle of july and i'm thinking about deciding a new project for that that's kind of they wouldn't knit the whole thing in a weekend i think but it's kind of a little bit smaller so i'm thinking about doing that that should probably be my first thing and then i need to knit a couple of swatches for a design submission and i really should have done them over the weekend and i didn't because i was working on this um so i need to do that this by the way if you're wondering what this fluffy blob is is a bag and i really like it and it's said to oil it before you attached it the um frame and I didn't because I didn't have any didn't think I had any um WD-40 or sewing machine oil I may have some sewing machine oil I just couldn't build to look but it is a bit squeaky so I do think I need to oil it I can access the hinges um so I can oil it but I should have done it 
instructions said to do before I finished it, but there's a, a video up um, before this one on how I knitted that. Okay, so let's get going and I'll see how much I filmed throughout the day, but hopefully you'll see some knitting, a dog walk, um, and maybe some other things. Should be writing a pattern this afternoon. I don't know if I've got the energy for it. So I might do some video editing instead because then I can just sit and knit while I edit the videos a little bit more. Less brain taxing. Um, and I've got some phone calls I need to make and things like that. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video, let me know. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. We're gonna go walkies. We're gonna go walkies. So I've gotten used to trying to give Alfie a treat. So if he comes and sits on the blanket in the hallway, that's his blanket, then he gets a treat because he doesn't always want to go out for a walk. Sometimes he's a little bit um late lazy and he just doesn't want to go out. So I've tried to encourage him to come and sit here, then he gets a treat and Alfie will do anything for a treat. Okay, so I'm back in my office after walking the dog. As you can see, I am wearing a bit of knitting. So I walked the dog and then I did a bit of knitting and had a snack and a drink in the lounge or watch a bit of telly. Wanted to sit outside, but it's still a little bit cool, so I'm gonna sit outside at lunchtime. Then I did my risk assessment for Yarndell, which is in September, and the deadline for the risk assessment is tomorrow. Nothing like leaving it till the last minute. Uh, and they also do, in 2020, they did like a Yarndell at home and because obviously they couldn't have an in-person show and they did that last year as well. I guess they must have done it in 2021 as well, I can't remember. But I've just watched the video I recorded last year. So the Yarndell at home, they ask all the exhibitors if they want to contribute or take part to record a short video, maximum three minutes, to go on their website. Well, it'll go... On YouTube and um, but it'll be it won't be available to the public till the Yandel weekend and then it'll be links on the Yandel website to the videos and it just gives everyone a chance to introduce themselves and say what they do and like all the social media links website links all that kind of stuff so I need to record that because I haven't done that and I have I watched a video I did last year and I've written out a little kind of script my problem is Looking at the script and looking at the camera with very focals. It's not easy. I'm going to just read through it quickly before I start. And normally I write out the script and then I don't really look at it. Um, I've brought out a few things to show. So my books, Easy Lace Knits, Be the Lace Knitting. Be the Lace Knitting is not in stock with me at the moment, which is another thing I need to chase up really because I ordered some of each book before Wonder Wool in Wales in April. Well, I ordered them in March. Only Easy Laceness came and Be The Lace Knitting hasn't turned up since, so I need to find out whether they're in stock or not. Um, I've brought out some yarns that I can show off, so that when I'm talking about what I do, I've got yarns to show off. So I've got to record this video, edit it, and upload it to YouTube, and then email it off to the Yarndale team with my risk assessment. And then after I've done that, it's just, oh, it's just midday, so I think after I've done that, I'll probably be time for lunch 
and had lunch I'm going to sit in the garden have lunch and do a bit of knitting got to finish this design submission I'm working on because I need to email that off so if I can get both swatches I need to knit two swatches I'm halfway through the first one if I can both get both done at lunch time I can block them I might even be able to leave them outside to block because they're only small squares and then I can email them off this evening which would be great so yeah let's record this yarn bell bit Okay, I took the thing off before I filmed a bit more. Right, I recorded, I don't know how many attempts I recorded at that. Um, I'm now going to have to go through and edit them. I have like two final cuts, which will hopefully one of them will be okay. So I think I'm going to try the last one first and see if I can edit it down to below three minutes. I'm keeping my Lavinia poncho on just in case I have to record it again. I have to open the window again because it's getting quite hot in here, but... It's difficult to get everything in three minutes and do it without um, hesitating. I know when I did the video for Yarndale in 2020, I, I think I actually managed to record it all in one go without having to edit anything. But that didn't work this time. So I'll have to do the editing now. I am ready for lunch. I've done everything I have to do this morning. I've finished up all the stuff for Yarndale. Everything that was on my have to do to do list today has been done. It's one o'clock. I'm going to go and have a lunch break in the garden, probably about an hour. I have um, charted out the stitch pattern for a new design I'm working on, which I need to email off to help hopefully today. So I have a squared notebook and I chart everything out in here first because I just find it easier. And then uh, once I've got it sorted out in here, I will then go and chart it on the computer. I used to just leave it in here, send up the design submission, and some things get commissioned straight away, some things don't. And I had a few instances where some things didn't get commissioned for a long time, like I think my longest I had was like a couple of years or a year, I can't remember, a year I think, one publication. And then of course I couldn't find the stitch pattern, so then I was going through the picture of the swatch trying to work out the stitch pattern from there. Which isn't too difficult if it's lace knitting uh, or stranded colour work, but it is a bit challenging. So now I try and be very, very good and type it up on the computer on my charting software, which is, what's it called? Stitch Mastery. Um, by a Scottish developer. So I chart it out on there so that I've got a copy on my computer. So if it gets commissioned, I know what I'm doing and I'm not scrambling looking through old notebooks trying to find it. I've knitted part of the swatch already. So while I have lunch, I'm going to finish that swatch, uh, chart out a second stitch pattern and knit a second swatch. May not get the second swatch knitted during lunch, but I can start it. And uh, if I'm really good, I might get both done. So I'm going to go put some sun cream on, get my lunch, go and sit in the garden and have an hour long lunch in the sunshine. I'm out in the garden. That's my lunch. Um, it is a homemade vegan curry. I make a big batch every few weeks in the slow cooker and then portion it out to daily portions and I often have that for lunch and over there is Alfie. He, I let him out while I was getting ready and he came out and then he came back as I was putting, reheating my food, putting sun cream on and then the dishwasher things like that and he came back and he just stood by the back door looking at me like are you gonna come because he likes being out here. Yes I know he's black and he's lying in the sun but there is shade the door is also open so you can go back inside if he gets too hot but he does like to lie in the shade and bake for a bit and if he gets too hot then he'll go and lie in the shade or go in the house but he does like baking in the sun he loves warm sunny weather and he loves being out here especially if we are out here with him so this is our garden fairly big he carries on around of the house and then we've got a big bit at the front of the house as well that tree got chopped down a lot in the spring but it's growing back um our garden is a bit of a wildlife garden we don't do a lot of gardening we're not really into gardening uh, but we do get loads and loads of birds around here
have finished editing the video I was editing and I am exporting it now. Um, that always takes forever. So frustrating. I really want to upload it to YouTube today as well and then that's done. But it's just taking so long to export. It's about halfway done. Um, I used this program that came with my laptop, like a Windows laptop. came with a laptop. Um, I don't know if it's any good really, but I know how to use it. <laughs> That's the main thing. Um, when I finish it, I have to export it, and that always takes a long time. This video is about 40, just under 44 minutes. It takes such a long time, and sometimes I'll sit here and wait for it to export, and then right at the end, it'll suddenly like fail, and I have to do it all again. Like export it again, not edit it again. Um, I don't understand why that happens. If I do anything else on my laptop while it's exporting, then it seems to have be a bigger chance that it'll fail exporting and I have to do it again. Um, sometimes it'll export the first time, sometimes it won't. Sometimes I have to have like three or four attempts at it. Um, but I really want to walk out there. It's half past three. I plan to go out about three, but editing videos so it takes a lot longer than I think it will. Um, 45 minute video I've cut it down to like just over just under 44 minutes it was nearly 46 minutes I think so I think I've cut a couple of minutes out of it um and that's taken me an hour and nearly an hour and a half uh to edit so it basically takes twice as long as the video and then I've got to sit and wait for it to export and it's not like I can do anything else on my laptop while I'm waiting so I end up just sitting here like staring at my phone or doing other things um, I have been knitting a swatch. I didn't get that far on it. Uh, I actually put it out in the hallway to take it downstairs with me so I wouldn't forget. And when I did everything else I do, so when I go downstairs, I can just take the dog out straight away and I don't have anything else I need to do. Actually, there's one more thing I'm going to do while I'm waiting. I need to post out a um, copy of this for the a price draw I did on my previous podcast episode. And I haven't done that because I've been away, so I'm going to get that ready because then I can take it with me and post it tomorrow. I'm back from walking Alfie. He came out with me, but I think he's come back inside again. It's really hot now. It's not as windy as it was earlier, so it's very, very hot. I'm sitting in the garden, having a snack. Got my knitting, got to finish knitting this swatch. I'm watching some telly on my tablet, and I'll let you look at our garden. So this is my view. I might put the parasol up in a minute, because it's quite hot here. Spend the rest of the afternoon out here till dinner time probably a couple of hours and i hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you very much for joining me if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and check out all the links below this video and i will see you next time thanks for watching